Welcome to episode three, or actually video number three of my Google Drive how to videos. And those of you that have watched the first two, you will know that at the end of video number two, we had uploaded a word processing document to Google Drive. And it was still, however, in Microsoft's words format. So it wasn't in a format that we could actually edit the document. So I promised you after video two that we would do another video and I would show you how to, if you like, export or convert the Microsoft Word document so you can work on it in Google Drive. Now, before I, I jump to it, just a sort of provider for this. When you're taking any sort of file on and you're converting it from one format to another, there are always going to be issues if the file that you're converting from is a complex file. So in other words, in Microsoft Word, if you've got a file that has a lot of formatting in it, such as tables and, and the like, it could be problematic that converting it to Google Documents may mean you have to spend more time than you want to re-editing the document to get it back to the standard that it was originally. So you really have to sort of take consideration of that when you're doing it. But it's an easy operation as I'm going to show you. And it means that if you do it and you find that the document is not worth trying to convert it because it's, you know, the formatting's not good, then you can just delete it. it you know, you're not, you haven't lost much time in attempting it. But this is just if you wanted to upload a document that we did in, in video number two, and now we want to convert it into a format that Google Docs can edit that particular document. So we'll go and click on Google Docs, and we will open that up. And we will go to recent documents because that's where uh, I can easily find the, the document in question. As you see here, it's this unit of competency that I dragged off the training website. And if I double click on it, it will load it up. And it's like having a viewer. It's loading it up. It's in um, Microsoft Word format, as you can see as I scroll up. That's great if you just want a document stored in Google Drive. You want to use it sort of like a Dropbox. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you wanted to actually take a document and convert it and actually be able to edit it, what do you do? Well, as you see, when I hover my mouse at the top of the screen here, you see I've got some menu items. And I'll explain some of those other menu items in future videos. But we want to look at the open they call it open rather than convert or export or something like that, which sometimes can be a little bit problematic because people think, oh, I'm just opening it up again. But opening actually means you're going to open it in another format in this case. So what we want to scroll down to is Google Docs. You want to open this document in Google Docs. And you're saying, hold on, but Daryl, don't you already have it open now? We sort of do, but it's still open in its native format. We want it in Google Docs format so that we can get our hands dirty and actually edit the document. So let's click on this and see what happens. You can see that it's now doing a little conversion and it's now going to pull up this document. Now, I haven't done this before, so I have no idea what it's going to do to this particular document. It may be that the formatting is a bit messed up because you're taking an original uh, document with quite a bit of formatting in it and then you're converting it. So let's have a look. So it's pulled up the Australian government and I can see immediately that there is some issues that that blue background is not really taken, uh, is not on the full page. Um, it's pushed some formatting down there. You, see, you can sort of see it's pushed it down. But there is quite a bit of formatting that's okay. I mean, it's not a complete mess. It's just, as you can see here, it's just pushed it around a bit, probably because it's got this blue background on it, this blue image on it, which hasn't really helped it. But you've converted that document now to a Google Documents format. So we could go in and we could edit that document now. The other beauty is, as I scroll back up, 
it's now been saved to Google Drive in its own right. You can see it, you can rename it, but that's what it's been put in at the moment. So, but you could rename this to make it something more sensible to you than just, you know, T-A-E-L-L-N-4-1. It's there, and you've got all your tools available in Google Docs to be able to edit it, and it tells you when the last editing took place. Um, so it's saved. Now, if I want to go back, I want to show you that now that we have if you like an editable document here if i just click on here and delete it and if i just close out of the word document you can see you actually have two documents so what's that all mean you still have the original microsoft word document that we uploaded and what google has done when we opened it in google docs it copied it and created a separate version of the document for you to edit. So you haven't lost your original Microsoft Word document. So that's, uh, and if you want to afterwards, if it's a document that you don't need anymore, you could actually right click and you could actually remove that document. So if you, if you were happy that the conversion had taken place okay and you were ready to just use the Google Doc, you could then get rid of this particular document and remove it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove it anyway, because in the next video, I will show you once you've done your editing, once you've done your document uh, work, how you can then, if you wish, download this document back into Microsoft Word format. You know, you may want to email it to a colleague that doesn't have Google Drive, doesn't want Google Drive. So it's not like once you've done this, then it's stuck in Google Drive forever. Google have given you tools to make sure you can get your information out of Drive if you need to. But that's for a future video.